All right, guys, gotta turn that down. We're turn that off. That's my my new radio that I did a review on, a two meter radio. So this is my computer setup. I actually have my HF radio down here, and even though I actually love it, I'm, I'm probably gonna take that to my cabin, the ICOM 736, just because it's too big to be on my desk. And I was looking at like a Yaesu FT450 or something small like that Kenwood. I think it's like 480 that little tiny little Kenwood. Just something that I don't want something big on my desk here. Um, I mean, I want it to be like a tiny little HF radio like right here. But for now, so I took that off because I'm not going to be doing any transmitting. I'm going to put my SDR play right here. You know, something like that maybe. And then I'm going to, I have a antenna switch here. So this is actually that new NFED antenna. I, I uh, did, a, did a video on I have a converter, you know, to the SMA connector. Yeah, you can see that in there. And that's going to be my, that's my HF antenna. Uh, it's multi-band antenna. It's supposed to be like 6 meter through 40 meter. And then on this top one right here with the RG213, that thick cable. I have, uh, that's my uh, disc on antenna, which is like kind of like a scanner antenna. And I can also transmit on 440, uh, you know, 2 meter and like uh, also all the way down to CB band, or 11 meter band. 10, 11 meter band, so. Uh, but you have to tune the, tune the tip of it, so. But that is going to go into my antenna port 1 on the back of this thing and then I have to do a USB cable selection here yep. it's hard to do this with one hand, there we go so antenna 1 is going to be my scanner antenna and then antenna 2 is going to be my HF antenna which I'm still experimenting, experimenting with different HF antennas but um, me all have to just do this. There we go. Okay, got my two antennas in there, and then let me show you what I have for a USB cable. So there's a couple different. I mean, I have a big box of. I mean, I'm an IT guy, so I have a box of USB cables. But um, so I was actually going through my Uf, USB cables, and then originally my plan was to use this uh, this Belkin, you know, like this molded Belkin cable, which is actually an expensive cable. Um. And then I also, then I found this thing right here, and I thought I'm probably gonna be using this thing right here. It has the, uh, it has dual chokes on it. I want to choke on each side, so I'm thinking that might help with the interference, maybe. I mean, it, it's, I mean, it's not gonna make it worse. It definitely would help. Um, ferrites, chokes, whatever you wanna call them. But that's supposed to clean up the wire a little bit, so. So I think I'll end up using these ones, and it's, I actually, have, I probably have a few hundred USB cables, and this is the only one that actually had the chokes on them, so. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to use with this, but I'll start off with this one and see if that uh, helps. And then I gotta download the software and put it on my machine here. And uh, I'm excited to use SDR Uno. So I'll come back and I'll uh, get that installed and uh, uh, we'll get going. See if this thing works. Cool. Hey guys, quick tip, but. Anytime you run a USB cable, um, especially at something like this, it should be directly run directly to the uh, computer, like all the way back directly into the back of the computer, um, and not through like a USB hub like that. And then uh, I'm also I still have those AMF AM FM filter traps that uh, I'm not gonna put them on yet, but then I'll see if uh, makes any difference. Cool. All right, guys, back here. So. <clears throat> this is actually where you get the software from. This is the people that make that device. It's sdrplay.com, and these are the different uh, I don't know, just description of the stuff here. But that looks like pretty cool software. So that's kind of what sold me on the idea. And plus, it's just a high, more high quality uh, part device. Um, all right, so let's download this thing. And SDR Uno. That's me. Okay, clues a driver, and that's what I need. So I haven't plugged the thing into my computer yet. So I'm gonna first install the software. That should install the driver, and then I'll plug in my device to the back of the computer, and that should detect it. Hopefully, install the driver, and I'll be up and running. All right. I'm not a robot. And start download. All right, I'll be back when it's done, and we'll go through the installation here. All right, guys, back. It's done downloading, and I'm gonna open it up and try to run it. 
Yes, I accept. Most likely, you're gonna, I'm going to have to move it over to this screen so you can see it. Accept agreement. Next. Next. What would that say? Next. Next. Yes, desktop icon. Okay, connect your RSP and a lot of drivers to talk late for doing that. All right, let me go. Come back. All right, device is connected. Actually, I connected it to a USB 2.0 port, not three. Just to uh, launch STR Uno. Let's see what happens. Kids back there. Okay. Wow, that's cool. Oh, it's like individual. I guess you can't really see it. Let me switch my screens over. Uh, I'll be back. I'll switch my screen. It's in a different window. Alright guys, I mean this looks pretty complicated so I got a lot to figure out here. But what's funny is since I actually have a real HF radio, the ICOM radio, a lot of this stuff makes more sense now. You know, just the band buttons and uh, antenna A, B, so... Um, VFO A, yeah, a lot of this stuff makes sense now. Way, way more than it used to, so... Alright, let's play this thing. Okay, okay. Alright guys, back here, and I switched it over to Antenna B, and because Antenna B is my HF antenna, that uh, NFED wire, the 91 Balin Anun. Yeah, see, look at, look at the difference in the antenna. That's Antenna A, that's my disco antenna, and that's Antenna B. It's a much noisier antenna. The ADC overloaded. I guess I got a lot to figure out, but this is the first time I've ever even seen the software, so. It looks way more sophisticated than the other stuff. Alright, guys, cool. Awesome. Hopefully, it's helped somebody. So, we'll see how it works. Maybe I'll come back and do a review. Alright, guys, decided to come back here. I know I was saying I'm going to stop the videos, but yeah, check it out. Picked up with somebody on a 40 meter. And that's antenna B, and that's the HF antenna. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. And then, uh, let's try antenna A. So you don't hear anything on antenna A. And that's a disco antenna. Alright, that's actually why I didn't even think to... Yeah, you know what's funny is I was never able to pick up HF before very minutely with all those other RTL dongles I've used. Um, what am I? Yeah, LSB. Lower sideband. But uh, cool, look at that, dude. I mean, yeah, I never was able to do that with these other dongles, the cheap dongles. So, cool, I'm going to play with this tonight and see what happens. Awesome.